Be the rig and tackle right now. We gotta yeah, go. What are you doing? We gotta start something right now. Like literally, it's gonna start. Like literally, we just did all this stuff. Mark, you got it. Yo, DC so got it. I'm changing it to Thursday. The GoPros are rolling. GoPros are going. Uh, Let's roll. Sure Ready? Go. One, two, three. We got five minutes. Ready to go. All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back today. I got my boys with me. It's been too long, guys. It's been, been too long. long. DC's trying to rig tackle. Mark is uh, already good. He's already well put together. He's, Mark is like the well, most well put together right, here guy. Here we go. I'm ready now. He's, he's ready to go. So we're coming back at you with three of us in this challenge okay the, we sort of started off with the first one with otter we call the mlf now ish we want to ask you guys what you think this should be called um we're going to try to grow this thing and i figured nothing better would be to the second official tournament against you two boys right here with the squad with the, the squad, squad literally with the gang Yes. Unreal. <laughs> so we're gonna try this thing out. Two pound minimum, guys. Two pounds. Two pounds. Three hours of fishing. You guys have seen the first. If you haven't, make sure to check it out. You ready to go? We ready. Hey, and just for the record, everybody got the same skill. Everybody the rapper scale. scale. We got yes, it. Sir. And we've got our alarm set. Yep. Lines in in like literally five minutes. Literally five minutes. Literally five minutes. Twelve forty. And then we go one hour. We're gonna take a minute break. But anyway, y'all. A minute break. Catch them. That's all I got. I'm, I'm gonna see y'all in. See y'all later. I'm all right. Go, so, launch it, launch. Launch. We got a lines in is in, in four ten, minutes. Ten minutes. Five minutes. Like. Four minutes, yeah. Five minutes. All right, hold up, Joe. Uh, Mark, Mark, line, line. Oh, man. Right Where you headed, you see? You gonna hit in this pocket right here. You gonna hit Hey, whoa, whoa, I'm going in this pocket right here. Hey! I'm going in this pocket right here. Hey, all right, all right, I'm going to start over here then. Are right, you going to start in this one? You better race over there. Hey, you ain't got no battery. You can't do nothing. Oh, I just cussed. Sorry, bro. You <laughs> you hey, you done, Mark. You done. Hey, okay, so look. I don't, I'm, I'm going to give y'all boys. Oh, God, I'm going to keep out with these. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You going in that corner. Alright. Man, there's so many stuff in here, it's unbelievable. Alright, we live, Hammer. We live at five. We live at five. Live tomorrow. Sorry, brother. Alright, y'all, here we go. Let me get this all straight so y'all can see me. All right, let me give y'all a quick little lake breakdown. There are stuff oh, everywhere in this lake right now. I'm hitting them as I'm trolling right, across yeah, the other side out. here. We are going to start off real shallow with this on this bank grass. There should be a few fish still spawning, okay? Now, if not, I'm gonna get out here. We're gonna SPR the old 70s bass to sleep. At least that's the plan, that's the hope. But this is Stay tuned. Deal. We got lines in here coming up Fisher, real shortly. Yeah. I got a warm yeah. set on my phone. I got three oh, minutes. Look, spawn, post-spawn. Mostly post-spawn. So uh, we're going to have to figure this out as we go. This lake has shag. Right, we're all fishing the same body of water. Smaller fishery. Um, we're about so to get fired up here in a minute. We've not made a cast. All right, so uh, see y'all made update. a cast here in my life. What I've seen from the lake that we're riding around on here, a lot of grass, kind of similar to the Coosa River. Y'all know me. I'm going to have me a little swim jig tied on with a crack and crawl. Got some red runny behind us. Yeah, I'll make sure that we're about to start here in a minute when the alarm goes off. All right, so red runny, grass. All this isolated brush out here. See if we can't catch them. Rode around, I saw some fish on bed. I mean, I saw some beds. I didn't see any fish on bed. I'm thinking that we're going to be able to catch them on a swim jig, maybe on some top water today. It's bluebird skies, but I'm sure they're going to bite. We've got to edge these boys out. I'm pretty excited to go. Our first cast is gonna actually be one of my favorite baits. We got a swim jig, G Man Turbo Crawl in the back. I catch fish coast to coast on this setup right here. Ready? 
ready, boys. Hey, we got like uh, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. You better catch them. Is all I gotta say. Hey, don't be messing around. Marky Mark, don't be playing. Two pound minimum. <laughs> Two pound minimum. Let's go, boys. Already talking trash, Seven, boys. Six, five, four, three, two, two, one. Lines in, oh, boys. That's it. Lines in. I gotta turn my alarm off. Oh, I hit it on snooze. Lines in. Let's go, guys. There we go. We got one already. Right. Let's see if we can get bot in spawn. I don't know if they're gonna be biting or not. I don't even want to move yet. I think it's gonna be kind of tough, like low key. Oh, this sucker cut me off. Cut me no, off hard for. Cool. Hey, these things cut straight, straight cut me off. <laughs>
was done, that's shallow. Stuck? <laughs> you sit over there and worry about it. <laughs> uh, you, 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 I guess you just sit there. You might well just start fishing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just missed him, guys. Good grief. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's the mark over there. I just missed a big dodo, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, that's horrible, baby. No, that's horrible. Oh, that's scoreboard right there. We're about to find out. <laughs> hey, it feels so good to be back in the saddle fishing like this. Oh, y'all ain't got a clue. He better be two pounds. Two pound pound. Come on, baby. Y'all over here. Two pound. Two pound, five ounces. Let me clear scale, just clear scale. I uh, cleared it. Two pound four ounces. Two four. Two four, a little chunky. Oh, there's some big ones in here, buddy. Oh, I gotta add that on the score trigger. What's the pin number? Huh? I don't know if it's fishing on the bed or if it was... Two pound, four ounce. Hey, Mark. Yo, what's the pin number? Uh -oh. Brody texted. I didn't heard, I didn't heard somebody talking crap over there. Hold on. It's four one two six. All right. Four one two six. Why well, is all you say? Chris? Four I wasn't no two pounder. All right, so yes, sir, this was. Uh, at this point in time, right now, I have DC's trying oh, that's to figure your pin out. Number. Uh, what is pin number? It's basically, we all have a separated uh, pin number, separate pin number for each of our weights. So you gotta put it in while you enter. Uh, you gotta put that pin number in when you enter your weight for that individual. So Connell's trying to figure out the pin number. Brody sent a screenshot of all of our pin numbers, but DC, DC was like, so we asked Mark, what's the pin number? And at that point in time, what happens is, uh, DC puts his fish in uh, to he puts his fish in as Mark. So I look at the score right, track and I'm like, what the heck's going on? So Connell's right calling me up at this point in time. He puts it on there and I'm like, what in the world's going on? So Mark doesn't have one and DC's got one. So then we have at this point in time, because we're using the score tracker uh, online feature that's available. Um, and, and that's sort of at that point in time, we're just trying to figure this whole thing out, you know, and it, and it's kind I mean, it's sort of comical. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm constantly, I'm like, what the heck? And DC's like, I stopped fishing. Um, so we're, we're, we're going to, we're going to get this dialed in, but, uh, um, it, it was just sort of a funny as the, all the way through there, you know, I know Connell's got hooked up, you know, he's got one at that point in time, I'm sitting there and I'm like, geez. Uh, yeah, so we're still trying to figure that whole thing out and sort of at this point in time We took three to five minutes to dial that in on what our pin numbers were because I didn't really explain I mean they knew The whole deal, but they didn't really know the whole deal. So I sort of I mean we're all green at this. So just 
understand it's going to take a little while, um, but we want to do this for you guys because this is sort of, you know, this is what it's all about. So as we're still dialing it in a little bit, I actually catch one. DC's like, don't make a cast. And Mark's still firing away. <laughs> and I catch one. Uh, and I'm looking at actually watching this right now. I'm ca I catch one in the middle of it all. It was like, it, here pretty soon. I'm pretty sure he's trying to dial it in, but hey, that's part of it. We're gonna get this thing figured out. Um, I see a lot of you guys on there popping on on the on on the on the video and uh, in the comments. I'm reading quite a few of those, and what I'm gonna try to do so, uh, Mark and Connell will be joining us um at the break so live via skype uh so make sure to drop some comments and um all throughout the video um and then i'll try to sort of write those down like i did the last video if you remember that and we'll try to answer a few of those um in the meantime so make sure to do that um and also i have mdj and more and uh, dc's um uh, handle uh for their youtube in the description below so Make sure to uh, click on that description, click their names, give them a subscribe. I'm sure they'd really appreciate that. But we'll hear more from them. Um, but it's about to get back. That's, this is really, I literally, I'm looking at this fish right here that I, I, I weigh, and it's like a, I think it's right just just short at this point in time. So uh, it's, uh, hey, I'll tell you what. That's, that's the fun thing about the two pound minimum. You know, I think the cups are still a one pound minimum. Uh, and I think sometimes that a one pound minimum is better when you're going by the fly and the seat of your pants when you have no um, no information or no um, practice on that body of water. I think that's really the biggest thing. Um, so this is sort of a smaller lake. It's a real small pond. So you guys have been asking uh, what this is. It's not super small, but it's, it's a smaller body of water um, that we wanted to do something on. Um, it was really centrally located to all of us. And that's what we said, hey, listen, let's try to ultimate meet here um, and see if we can't catch a few. Has the history from what from DC has told me, um, they've told me there's some big ones in here, some, some good quality. So um, I'm sort of excited to see what we pull out of this thing. Uh, it, it's definitely not the best conditions though. You can see those bluebird skies. It seems like always when we try to do these live events, it's always like bluebird skies. It's been cold mornings, which is not the greatest when the fish are trying to spawn and the fish are trying to get up there and do their thing. So um that is what's going on right now we're, we're back to fishing right now okay got you i got you got you got you, got you. all right four, so mine's four one two six text mark he is All right, so sorry about all that. Coronavirus has done got us uh, messed up a little bit. So we're trying to uh, do the digital deal. We're trying to get out here and have a little friendly competition. So, all right, we're back. We're back, we're back in this thing. We're back up okay. in this thing. Way at Lay Lake. I think 
what you think of Sony. Alright, so I don't think the swim jig is a deal. I'll be dead honest with y'all. I love swimming a jig, but I don't think he's a deal right now. I think it's just fun. know before it gets dark we're going to smash one on a frog huh all right guys so this time of year i think a lot of these fish and my water temp 70 degrees i think this time of year You've got a bunch of fish that are definitely spawned out, but they're fry garden, okay? So that what that means is, you know, I, you hear that term all the time, fry garden and this and that. So those, those eggs have now turned into essentially baby bass. Like for real, they're like swimming around. It'd be like a brown little ball of fry. And if you come through those fry, Big Mama's coming out to eat you. So, fish caught on fry garden. Fish. Can't hardly get them to bite unless you come through that fry. And I've honestly went around and marked fry before and caught them that way. So, but I don't think the shallow deal is, is, is the game. Not necessarily. So I just tank it up. Because I should have done had a couple more big bites or a couple more bites doing that. But I have not had for that one or two bites. So I think it's gonna be more or less a, I might figure them out. You know what I'm saying? It ain't this ain't gonna be easy. But once we figure them out, it's gonna go down. I can guarantee that. I don't think they're up shallow. Yeah, I don't see them being up shallow that much. I just don't see it. spawned out. That's the only thing. Yeah, I think a lot of them have spawned out. So. And it's sunny.
I just heard somebody throwing a stinky spinning rod with a worm on it and like whew. All right, y'all. So we had a little bit of technical difficulty on the mic set right there, but this time, this son going right here. I seen this fish literally swim through, um, swim through the bed, and I didn't know if a lot of them were up there spawning or not. But I'm like, I'm pumped up. I mean, obviously it's a pretty big fish um, at this point in time. I know DC got on the board, and this son going right here was a dodo, you know. And, and I and I about messed it up. It's a pretty healthy fish. Fish will wait. What is it? Five pounds, nine ounces. Five nine. Whoo! Thank you so much, baby. She was on the bed over there. I seen her boil at some. Might have been a he. Might literally be a he. I don't see the male, so I'm assuming this might be the male. If that's <laughs> that's awesome though. <laughs> Smoked me while I go on it. Oh my god, dude. Oh, dang. Thinking big. thing that's going on right now is some micro microphones off. I'm explaining sort of what, I, what I'm doing. Um, I'm inputting the... Yeah, we're, all right, right, we're back. We're good to go. Yeah. That was Get another one. 
bunker log out. Action. Okay, my second guy. He's over with a spinning rod. He's over with a spinning rod. Oh, really? Yeah. Here, I'm sure you catch the big ones down the bank. Surprise there, old floating worm. Got him. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how this works. Go turn the scale on, make sure it's zero, get you guys to verify, right? Zero, right? I'm gonna throw him on and see what we got. They gotta be two pounds. We're sticking with the, the minimum, and we got ourselves a non scoreable bass. He's 112 or 113. 112. So, he's really close. Nice little fat little dude. Time. Ah, put him back. On rolling. 12, 12 11. Alright. Good thing is, I'm gonna turn my house to the fish for this like this. Now we just did that couple. 40. Little one. 50. 
Well, where it might be the deal, I don't know. Well, I thought we had a lot more bikes by now, but I don't know what the other boys got. Let me check the score tracker. Check, check, one, two, one, two, one, two. Check, 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 check.
score for sure. I don't trip. It's been a point. Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, float worm out there on those deeper trees that we talked about earlier. That one right there is going to score, fellas. Alright, zero off the camera, or the camera, zero out the, zero out the scales, and this one is 3-2, for the folks at home, that's a 3-2, alright, I'm actually going to lock him in, alright, beautiful fish, fat and healthy, thanks mommy. All right, got to enter him in. Three pounds. Two ounces. Go for the. Let me see your phone real quick. I guess see what more that one way. Uh, Mark's calling him. Yeah. Hey, I used that code and it put it in as Dustin Connell. Yes, right. Yeah, I know. Dustin used yours earlier. Okay. And yours is and yours so is what? his. Until we figure it out, we're going to stick with it. That looks real good. Those wacky worm bugs, but oh. it's like 
For whatever reason, they do not want to buy the top of the yet. Step it up a little bit more because these. I don't know. Stamping the bike through on this thing.
Yeah. My crank bait back thought he had a money pole. That thing saved me countless dollars. When you're fishing a lot of timber like this, when you're cranking, you're gonna get snagged. But if you got a good, good stick to get it out, it helps a lot. I just seen it. Hey, we're all, hey, this thing, we all get real quiet when we're dialing it in. Like, it takes a little while to dial it in. So you get real quiet and you'll say a whole lot. Then all of a sudden, you know, it's gung. Trying to get this sucker. Here. Dobbing away would be freaking perfect to your thing. Dob. Number two, number two, number two. All right, he says, I see you looking. I see you looking. Mark's not looking. All right, what we got, we got, we got. Number two, official weight. Two pounds, 13 ounces. 213, almost a three pounder. Three pounder, all right, there we go. 213. Let me hit my name. Spot lock. Come back here. And get this. Was it 213, right? 213. All right, all right. Hey, I'm gonna go behind these guys and really slow it down. Lunker logs. Wacky warm to death. Um, no. Okay. Let me see here. Hey, three, you gotta put it in every time? You gotta talk to the boy. Two pounds, 13 ounces. Submit. Strong. You'll see it right now. All right. Pretty fucking blue lunker log. Now, I might swap that out. I'm actually just hooking it. I don't have O rings. I might have an O ring tool in here somewhere. I'm not even gonna hook some so good. The o -ring.
So I was sitting there just thinking these fish are spawned out and sure enough that one right there has been spawned out for a long time. Look at that. Clear scale. Oh, so I'm gonna say three, three, eight. Three pound, 12 ounce. Oh, well, hang on a minute. Three, 12. Can't really see it. Three twelve. Three twelve. That's what I'm talking about right there, baby. Jacob's got eight pounds, six ounces. He got eight pounds, six ounces. Okay, hold on. All right, let's go get some separate ducks real quick. Ounce. We're leading after the Dang, end of the first just, period. I think that it's just bluebirds coming to the sunny sky. Yeah. 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 Cloud in the sky. Nice. We've had a big cool front this week. So I caught that fish on. Can't be. 
Oh, trustworthy. Swim jig with a crack and crawl. Tell him on that. I'm really just wondering if they're out. I think they're out, man. I really do. I think they're out. Like, they're done, done spawning. I think a lot of them have kind of moved back out toward the middle or. Water, water, please. Smash that one up. Oh, don't. Okay, sir. All right, so we're gonna go Skype here with DC and Mark. DC, go ahead and talk. Check, check, check. Hopefully they can hear you guys. What's up, what's up guys? Can you hear us? We're gonna check in here. We got DC, myself, MDJ, what about it boys? Mark, what you got, some presses over there? Some, some Snyders, man, I'm starving, bro. I don't blame you whatsoever. I'm looking down through here to make sure we are good to go. Um, I'm gonna get some, we're a little bit behind everybody on YouTube, so we're gonna see, sort of make sure you guys give us some comments, letting us know we are good to go here and you guys can hear us. Uh, no sound. Hold up. No texting and driving, DC. <laughs> no texting and driving. I'm just Skyping and driving. <laughs> so, any sound, any sound. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. Check, check. DC, you're in talk. DC. Can y'all hear, hear me? Hello. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Don't worry about it one time. I got no, 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 no. Yes, sound is good. Okay, we got you. Okay. This is what's up. <laughs> I'm having a tough time here right, in right, D.C., right. but uh, I'll tell you what, boys. It, it was a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. First round. First first period. Uh, what was the end right there? I had, I think I had 8-6. D.C. had 2 for 6 pounds. Mark, you got a 3-2. Uh, MDJ, set it up for us real quick. What you seen on this body of water, what you were looking at, you know, what you felt like these fish were, were you know, what the scenario we were looking at and the conditions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we you know, had, we had uh, uh, a real, a real cold, cold morning. morning. I think that's, I think the, that's biggest the biggest thing. thing. It was real cold. cold. We dropped in, water temp in the mid-60s, mid high, high blue, blue burst, burst skies. skies. Um, I think I that think cold front knocked that water, water temp down, down quite, quite a bit from the, from the night, night previous. previous. I'm not, I'm not sure. But, but with that, with that being said, the water, you know, kind of tanny, tanny, but clear. You can see down about a foot and a half, two foot. Blooded, blooded timber, timber everywhere, everywhere and, and, and there was quite a bit of bank grass, bank grass on, the, on the bank. bank. So, so I was excited, I was excited man. man. It, it, looked, it, looked it looked to me like, like straight, straight up hard, hard, hard power, power fishing. fishing. Pull out the break, 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 big, big sticks, go to, go to work. Yeah, I felt the same way. Do you see what? I mean, that's exactly what I thought as well. When I when we pulled up this body of water, we have not fished here. It, this is not a. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people ask the number one question I get on this whole the whole thing has been. Hey, what lake y'all on? Okay, this is the thing. We're trying to fish a lot of different lakes. Some of this lake right here is actually not a, a public body of water. Most of the lakes that we are, 90% of the lakes we're going to fish are going to be, are going to be public. Yeah. But the thing is, um, we just, you know, a lot of the fisheries we're going to fish are going to be fairly small. So we don't want to blow them up out of proportion. We don't want to mess them up um, because they're very susceptible to pressure and bass do not like pressure a whole lot. So that is the thing. Right. We'll try to keep it on the down low. And a lot of these lakes will be small to where probably moving forward, we're going to try to do the smaller bodies of water to where we can go out there potentially, maybe look at the body of water if we've never been there before and then start the competition, um, be able to practice a little bit in the morning or something and then be able to start the competition. So that's sort of what the whole scenario is here. Um, man, it was, it's definitely not easy fishing. Conditions dictate so much during the spawn. I got a couple questions real quick here. Um, that I've been sort of sort of been paying attention to uh, to all your guys' comments. So this is sort of what we're going to sort of go through. So I wanted to uh, real quick here. One of the best questions that I seen when I was looking down through there. Um, when struggling, DC, you're going to go first. When struggling on a new lake, do you change your bait or location first? Uh, can y'all uh, hear me? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can, can you hear me now? Can you hear me, you got now? me now? Hello. Uh, uh, yep, uh, yep. Uh, all, right, so, all right, so if I'm on, if I'm on a body of water, body of water and I'm struggling, and I'm struggling to get by, do I move first, first or do I change, or do I change bait? bait? Uh, I, uh, think I think that really depends, depends on, on 
I mean, I just I mean, I just on a lot of things. things. I mean, if I'm, I mean, if I'm seeing, if I'm seeing some kind of light, if I'm seeing, if I'm here, seeing here, here, pop, or from, you know, if I'm just, you know, if I'm just seeing kind of kind of wake off the bank, it depends on a lot of things. Yesterday, yesterday, I didn't get my light for 15 minutes, and I didn't get any fish and waking off the bank. You know, if you're going, if you're going shallow and you're like being kind of loud, loud, banging around, you're going to get out, get out off the bank. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see that. I was like, all right, immediately, you know, hey, I was kind of eating out of the way. So I probably did change location. Pretty good. I can hear you fine, you see? We lost yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my oh, no, they there. Oh, no, they there. Are you guys watching the video with us or no? Jacob, they're probably not watching with us, so they have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I'm not watching. Yeah, I'm not watching. I know, hey, I know, I know DC ain't watching. I'm not watching. I'm about to get everything I'm dialed about to in. Yeah. This is the thing. We wanted to make sure to stop. Here uh, you, you I guess, I'm going to put in comments. I have to go from everyone but Jacob. Um, trying to get this dialed in. We're about to go live. We're about to get back on the water. So we're going to sort of get a little bit of time to mess around with this. We're going to sl slide back to the fishing. So in, hopefully you guys are learning a few things. We're going to try to get on it. I know DC, we're only, uh, hey, we're all one fish away from making this thing happen. So we'll get this dialed in and we'll see you guys at that second period break. Check them out. I know there's some big giant ones in here. I know there is. We just got to figure them out. So Jacob's got two fish. Oh, he caught a five pound nine ouncer and a two pound 13 ouncer. Sunny out here, I know that. Good grief. You'd think you'd be able to catch him on like a vibrating jig or something, but no. There's something over there in them bushes. I don't know. I'm waiting on a big one. I mean, it's in the middle of the day. I mean, normally they don't they ain't really fired up right now. They ain't fired up how they need to be. We're gonna keep plugging after them. I'm ready to double crossbone something. You ready to what? I'm ready to smash. I know you are. I'm worried about it. It should be. We got like 30 seconds. Jacob caught him over five pounder. A little, right. Jacob, a little five Jack nine. Lynch, real quick. That's what's up. What's wrong? Disappear out here.
big giant one. Big. Big. <laughs> be quiet. Yo, be quiet. <laughs> Look at that one, dude. Oh, on the cracky. On the cracky. Look at that. I thought she was bigger than that. Clear scale. Boom. Oh, almost. Four pounds, fifteen ounces. Four pounds, fifteen ounces. Five pounder. See that one looks like she's yeah, she's she just came off. She might have been home with God, I don't want you. God dang. That's what I'm talking about. No, it's not a blind tree. Dang. Four pounds, fifteen ounces. Ten pounds, fifteen ounces right now with Damn. three. Ten pounds, fifteen ounces. Got him added in there. Boom. Oh. You talking about smoked it? So, I caught that fish on a swim jig with a crack and crawl. She was on a little bit of isolated grass. There's like one or two little twigs over here. Caught her on that. But there's a bunch of reeds and stuff, you know, out of this way. And I'm, I'm thinking that I need to really look, be pitching around it. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to swim a jig around those reeds and stuff. So I feel like I need to be pitching. They're, they're kind of deep. 
Yeah. I really think that you can catch a big one. I just talked about pitching around them reeds. Like, just talked about it. Clear scale. She might go. I don't know. I don't think she will. Four pound, 11 mouth. I just talked about it. Pitching around them reeds. It worked okay for the light, the light. Oh, a swimmer, big. Bro, and that's the thing is like it's not easy to get a bite. I wonder if you catch one on a frog, is what I just said. Frog fish, I was like literally just seeing that fish up underneath that big tree. 
Let's catch it. Got it. Perfect. Toe spawn fish. Exactly what I'm looking for. Let's see if I'm... I need to like get it. I need to put it on my phone from here on out. Oh, yeah, I need to have it on my iPad. That way I can just boom. You know. Okay. So all you got to do is put it in the app to say 14 or 15. That's the 215. 215. I think I said that. If I didn't. Submit. All right, we just took the lead. One, one, like the word is like, oh, just barely took the lead. Okay, bitty boy. All right, DC, let's go. That was a big, 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 and oh my god, dude, that was a giant. Oh, oh man. Up in here. Mark caught him one too. Yo, baby. Start the fight, boys. I seen that one. Swim over there. And come get it. Purple crawl. You already know. All right, baby, let's go. Man, that was a long time coming. All right, scales are zeroed. We're gonna get her on there, and we got. Two pounds, four ounces. Two, four. Two, three. Two, four. Two, four. All right. There we go. Two, four. Turbo crawl. <coughs> All 
All right, get that phone. Let's get her dialed in. Okay. So like, uh, wait. Hold on. So I, need to run. so I can see Jacob right now. All right, this right here will tell you how people's personalities are different. He is throwing a spinning rod. Now, for me, if I'm around big fish, I ain't saying spinning rod ain't good. That's but a long code. Seven ain't too long. You know, it, is, it does work good right now, I guess, when it's flat and calm and no wind. Different styles of fishing, man. This is what it all boils down to. If I had a guess, there's probably one right here.
Oh, he was down there tapping it, son. I mean, tapping it. Giving it a little tap tap. Go, baby. Ow, he got me. He got me. Come here, baby. Come here. That one will go. Look at that. Look, I want y'all to look at this real quick. Owner jungle hook to the dome. To the dome. Cool. He better go. I think he will. I think he was on bed. Come on, baby, go. Go, 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 please. Yes. Two pound. Two pound, four ounces. Two pound, four ounces. All right. Two, four. Two, four. Pretty. Male. Might be another big giant one on bed right there. I don't know. Two, four. That was so fun, man. I rocked his head. He got the business. Two, four, two, four. Uh-oh. Jacob got 14 pound, nine ounces. Coming back though. Four, one, two, six. Two, three, four. All right, thirteen pound three ounces. Jacob is Jacob is like one pound above me. He's one pound six ounces above me. Keep rolling. I gotta keep putting this bandito bug in my hand. That's what exactly what I got to be doing. I got to do that. Slow down and pitch this joker around. Catch some on bed. Keep the old bug in my hand. Keep him honest. Keep the old bug honest. Keep that old bug, huh? Oh. Y'all can tell my tackle is screwed everywhere. Good, good. Bandito. Let's try a green pumpkin or, or the black and blue. Not the last one on black and blue. I cracked his head, guys. I'm talking about he got 
He got smoked is what happened. One pound, six ounces back. One pound, six ounces back. Oh. Did it? She took out. See how that fish got kind of a red eyes? Yeah, she's on bed. Spawned out female. Sitting up on that stump, right where you should be. All right. Let's see here. Wow, one fourteen. Four pounds. One fourteen. Seven ounces. Jeez. Nah, score. Get off. Fat. Yep. Right here. All right. Welcome. Four pounds, seven ounces. Another bite. Four seven. Four seven. Right. Yep, four seven. Right, four seven boys. I mean, might have took back the lead unless he caught another one. Four seven. <laughs> ah. Sure. Ah, dang. Guys, if you're wondering what rod I caught that fish on, this is a favorite hex rod. This is a 7.6 heavy. And buddy, let me tell you, when they bite it, you can jack them on that. You hear that fish cutting out? Turn this a little bit, see if y'all can see a little bit better. Smoke. 
head right there. Seventeen pounds, ten ounces. Mm -hmm. There's how fourteen pounds. I got seventeen pounds.
that up, JD Sizzle. 17 pounds, 5 ounces. You smash it, boy. <laughs> you just missed one? I don't know. You know, my little trigger finger kind of itchy. You ain't catch you a big. I seen a big giant one on big. Couldn't get her to bite. She wouldn't stay put. I ain't caught but two. Huh? I said, I ain't caught but two. What's the biggest one you caught? Three pounds. How big you got? Nine, twelve. Seriously. Now I'll just play. A five. Four? Four, fifteen. No, I had a five, six. Five, six. Dang on big. And a four fifteen and a four seven. Yeah, you smash it. I'm gonna get out your way. Oh, you fine. I'm gonna hop on down this bank. Jacob's gonna find a little wad of them here in a minute and start making a little comeback. Did you you leading right now? Yeah. Jacob making a comeback. No. That man always keep, does. Keep that gas on him.
zero. Guys, I just seen a giant swim by. I don't know what it was doing, but she showed up swam on by. I was like, oh my goodness. I'm telling you, I just literally saw that one right there. Oh, I got away Picked from up it. that frog. Got it. Got away from it. Not a giant it. one, but. Two five. Two five. Okay. Two five. Two times five ouncer. Oh God, you hold up. Oh baby. That's awesome. She might have been too big to swing, guys. I swung her in. <laughs> she was on bed too. Look at that. How about that? That's what I'm talking about. I shouldn't have swung her in. Three five. Three five. All right. Three five. That's what we're talking about. We're making a little comeback. Mark left her for me. Three five.
141. Our next break is at, at 2. You got it? 3 5. Hmm? Barely any signal right here for some reason. 20 pounds, 15 ounces. I think it was 14 pounds, 9 ounces. That gun, man, I hate that. I swung her in, guys. I mean, maybe I, I come in with her hot. Dang. It's all good. It's all good. Come in with her a little bit too hot. Hey, Dad. Come in with her a little bit too hot. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to re-rig this during my break. Let me get through here and kind of stick around. I think we got like 20 more minutes. 18 more minutes. Oh, it's 150 is our break. Got eight more minutes. I make it dang it's right there right there dang it might have got a little bit of something going for this oh 111 okay all right all right all right gotta make this count
half of a bit off or I'm back. Might have figured something out. Might have figured something. Stop. Got 10 minutes. What we doing? We getting smashed on right now. Let's see. All right, let's check a little score tracker. Update. Um. DC got it. DC got 20 pounds. Number fish oh, caught. one more. He got 16 pounds, 14 ounces. Go ahead and cut it. He got 20 pounds, 15 ounces. Boy, straight cracking them. I'm 15 pounds behind. Jeez. Huh. We got to change something up. I don't know what. Doing everything in my power to try to get bit. I just watched Dustin catch another one. Looks like he was throwing a swim jig. 20 pounds, maybe. 15 ounces. Jacob's got 16 pounds, 14 ounces. Real quick, I gotta read me another bandito bug. Up. It's like not huge, so um, you know, we both we pretty much have all fished around the majority so, of it. I think um, what we're doing, and so I think the thing is, there's a little bit of wood out in the middle, so I'm trying to find hopefully catch a few of those fish out there a little bit further out in that wood. Um, there's not a ton of fish on the bank, the ones that are that you can tell they're skinny, so that means there's They've been up there for a little while, so the females should be, most of the females should be out here towards the middle. So I'm gonna sort of rig up a couple of things I think might work. Um, might even, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do for sure, but that wind gets up, we might be able to catch them doing something other than dragging them. What's up everybody, checking in with you all the end of the second period. DC, I mean, this son of a gun is absolutely catch. I'm sorry for that first period break. We, uh, we tried to all Skype all three of us in. Um, had a little technical difficulty there. We're trying to figure that out, but the plan is to have all the guys on uh, DC and Mark at the end of the round. So one more hour, we'll have all the guys on, try to have a little QA, 
um, get them all Skyped in. That'll be basically the end of the video. I'm um, talking a little bit about what's, what went down and sort of maybe answering a few of your questions. I've been writing a few down. Uh, I've been popping in and out of the chat room. So I'm just sort of been checking in with you guys as we go. Um, this is a lot of fun. You know, obviously we don't uh, got it all dialed in. It's going to take some time. So I really appreciate you guys working with us on this and understand it's going to be a growing pains thing. But at the same point in time, um, we're just, you know, we're just trying to sort of figure out where we want to go with this. And and, and then right now, um, to be able to have an opportunity to fish uh, against other professional anglers this time um, within, you know, really close distance to the house, um, you know, that's a big deal for us. You know, to be able to stay sharp, to be able to consistently be out there competing, um, that's that's the biggest thing. So, um, you know, right here, th this little lake right here was actually, I think it's like right about 25 to 30 acres or so. A lot of standing trees, a lot of standing timber. Um, and and what, what I'm looking at now, I caught those last few fish on a, on a drop shot with a slim shaped worm. There's a lot of timber out there off the bank. You know, we're, I think the deepest, deepest points, maybe like 12, 15 feet. So a lot of these fish that we're fishing for, I mean, it, it's sort of after a little bit is those fish were spawning or just getting off of the bed. Um, in, in some of these places, a lot of these fish are just sort of on the tail end of the spawn. You know, it sort of got messed up here around Tennessee with a lot of this rain that we had. Water came way high and drops real fast here on, on Chickamauga and a lot of the Tennessee River lakes. Um, but that is sort of what we're in. We're in the middle of the spawn, but those high waters and that water dropping can mess it up a little bit. In this particular place, it was not affected as much by that, so we opted to go do this. Um, and, and the thing is, as, as we go through this whole thing, we're gonna we're gonna figure it all out. So I wanted to answer a few of your questions, give you guys a little bit of a Q um, and A, and we have probably maybe close to I want to say four or five minutes before we get back on for for period three. I know uh, I'd love nothing more to take down MDJ and in, in, in DC. And that's the thing. I, I know I've, I've heard there are some ten plus pounders in this place right here. Um, so uh, you know MDJ is definitely not out of it. But I, I'm I'm excited to sort of see what I have got dialed in. I got on that little drop shot deal, so I'm thinking. Hey, maybe I'm fishing for those fish that are post-spawn and that have pulled out already. So let me look here real quick. I'm going to pull this up and see what's going on. Um, are you fishing at Lake Murray for the World Games? I am this fall, I believe. Um, I believe everything is sort of set there. Um, sort of tough because I want to be deer hunting as well. So um, that's definitely water temperature is right around that 65 to 70 Three degree mark. Uh, you know what's interesting is Garmin, Lawrence, and Humbert. I run all three of them. Garmin always runs a little bit lower than both Humbert and Lawrence. I want to say Lawrence runs the hottest. So say if it's 70 on Lawrence, it'll be 69.5 on Humbert. So they're very similar. And then Garmin will be like 67. So it's, it's almost a three degree difference. So I don't know which one is correct. I've heard it. You know, everybody says theirs is. So I don't know. But that is something as well. Um, let me go down through here and check in with you guys. I actually pulled up a list. Let me pull this guy up. Um, I seen a, a question back in the back in the comments. What is your favorite herring bait for like a, a herring lake? So that's pretty much South Carolina, some of the Georgia lakes, obviously, um, and into Alabama a little bit with uh, Lake Martin having a few of them in there as well. I mean, for me, it really comes down to a fluke or it comes down to like maybe a topwater or a jerk bait, you know, something that you can really move fast and get that, get there, get the, those fish to react. I mean, that's sort of my whole thing. Um, I try to do that. Um, I asked this question on live or on our little Skype call. What, uh, when struggling on a new lake, what do you change first, your bait selection or your location and i thought that was such a great question because ultimately as anglers we're always trying to figure things out i mean you guys see when i have so many rods on the front deck i'm just trying this this is the reason why i try to do that i try to constantly have a lot of you know have a lot of options and if i go to a piece of cover and i go up there and i flip up there and make three casts with that frog which i did in this deal i had a frog on you know, which it did look like a froggy sort of water, you know, froggy water. I got a bite and all of a sudden I run with that pattern. I run with that particular bait. I definitely would say I switch my technique before I switch necessarily the location. Um, so I feel, I feel like there's areas of the lake and, you know, if you have a big long lake, you know, you could have a clear water end, um, or you have like a natural lake, or if you have a, uh, like a Highland reservoir, you might have a clear water towards the dam. You might have a little stain in the middle and you might have some muddy water up in the Creek arm. So that all changes, you know, where you're fishing. But if I'm, if I'm fishing, you know, 
in, in a new body of water, I'm going to change my technique or the tackle then selection that I use first before I change my location, unless I already know like, hey, I already know they're spawning and I'm going down the bank and I can visually see those fish. So I thought that was a really good question. I think a lot of us sort of struggle when we go to new bodies of water, dialing it in and figuring that out. It's not the easiest thing. And you could tell it you know, even on this small body of water, it was not that easy. It was a great fishery, but in the tough conditions, it, it's not, it, it can be a little tough. So look down and see what else we got. Um, so what is my favorite hunter hooper uh, says favorite smallmouth bait and color. I, I mean, for me personally, this is sort of interesting. I feel like, uh, the rat, the Guggenbaits Rattle and Ned is probably my favorite by far. Uh, it just it, it catches them. That profile catches big smallmouth. Um, and, and I would say, man, it's so hard. You really can. It just all depends on what color. Really depends on what um, depends on what watercolor is for the color. Um, you know, I'll switch it up a lot of times. But I mean, any any sort of green pumpkiny looking color for me, that's what I'm going to roll with most of the time. But I'll tell you this, you know. I think that it's so interesting because like a Ned rig or, or that rattling Ned, like I don't catch a ton of big large mouth on that bait a lot, like maybe in some clear water situations, but small mouth, it's like they don't care if it's small. You just, just throwing something small to get bites for small mouth does not mean you're going to catch a little small mouth. It means you can catch really big small mouth. They just tend, they tend to like smaller things. So that's probably my favorite there. Or throwing like a three inch. A three inch Largo shad is a really good smallmouth bait as I'll well. So that's, like those, are my, those are my two right there. Like um, okay, so Jacob, what is your favorite top water? That's a really, really tough question because I, you all know I love to throw a top water bait. Um, and I want to say I'm right there. Mm, if I was going to throw one, probably a buzz bait. Probably a buzz bait. What you got, bro? Right now, is oh, the scariest man because he ain't got nothing to lose. Hey, it's coming down. Coming down the wire, boys. Hey, <laughs> oh, decent. good luck. That's a really nice side. Oh, that's fine. Ten, 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 ten. Hey, good luck. I'm watching this good right luck. here on my phone watching <laughs> you guys. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Dang. Whoa, this.
head shaking down there. Holy smokes. Gosh. Like she was shaking down there. Gosh, come on. She was in that clump. the Academy logo. Too much and it's too bright down there. I figured I'd try out a little bit because I didn't want to be beating the bank the whole time.
You going back across? You're good, you're fine. I'll probably go back, but it's all good, too. I'm trying to drag it around for you catch one. <laughs> I literally seen that fish out there on live scope. Pitch that worm out there. Bam. I seen it was a little bit bigger blob. All right. Back in business. ODC. Close to a three pounder. Not going to probably take the lead, but. Two pounds, 15 ounces. Two. 15. Okay. Bro, let me see your phone. 
Where's that phone at? Can't be messing around. We gotta. around some of these places I just caught that one at and see if there's some on there.
He gonna stay hooked up. Strong. This guy. That guy. That guy. Of course, he gonna stay all the way. I was about to set back, Hammer. I was about to set it back.
I would imagine he did. Call someone three times, it better be. I'm sorry. I don't care what it is, who's calling. What kind of girl? 
Yo, that one was actually uh, a four nine. So I put twenty eight. I got like twenty eight pounds on the tractor, but it's like, you know, I caught a four nine. Okay. I have twenty nine fifteen, but then they basically deduct five 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 nine for what that Oh, uh, four not twenty four fifteen. Yeah, I think it's fair. I think it's twenty four fifteen. Regardless, I, I, it deducts five nine off. Okay. That, that's really what I have. Alright. Alright. Okay. Don't count my man out. He'll find a way. you one okay man I just got okay Rio four nine four nine pretty good one for sure beautiful fish fat healthy thank you baby four nine All right, y'all. So, in the middle of uh, us cutting cutting my my video, 
uh, we actually got about five minutes behind. So DC did make a comment about five minutes ago saying that, hey, that I took the lead. So that is actually what went down. I took the lead at this point in time. I'm at 24 something. Uh, you know, and so DC's got to catch one. So you're seeing him in scramble mode at this point in time because I'm just up by a pound. But at this point in time, we fish down these stretches pretty, pretty thoroughly. And so we're fishing behind each other, um, behind our own selves. So we know we have to catch him. So this next little bit will be pretty interesting. But um, I just want to give you guys a heads up. I am five minutes behind. Apologies on that technical difficulty. Again, it's part of it. Uh, but we'll promise to do better as we continue these things. Um, and get them dialed in. Pounds even. Two even. You see it? Oh, ho oh, oh. ho. That's crazy. I'll make sure it's zeroed. Okay, it was zero. Just making sure you guys see that. Two pounds even. Oof. Got a little got, got him in the gill right there. Let me get him off. I, that's the only thing bad every once in a while in that wacky worm you get him in the tongue and they'll bleed a little bit but whoo got him all right sucker blew up my frog and i'll tell you guys we went down this bank earlier this this uh this afternoon and and caught a couple but that sun sort of gotten a little bit lower and the big key with that has been when that sun gets a little lower a little shade on the on these banks that's a huge deal. So the fish starts to become more susceptible to biting top waters, waters warmed up, they get a little bit higher, get a little more excited. And that's what happened right there. Two fights on a frog, one of them. Hit rod everywhere. Little uh, bunker log, green pumpkin blue. All right. Let me see here. Bacon. There we go, boys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to come back on that. But I thought that was a big giant. My grace. She was not coming off. She was not coming off. Emma. I got 26, 24, uh, 26, 6. All right, TMFO. Caught a two pounder, step by. All right, see you, buddy. Two pounds, 12 ounces. Two 12. Oh, All right, right. time, run out of time. Gee, I gotta get out of here. Hey, man, we're struggling.
Come on, Ernest. No. Time is Get down a wire. Pounds even. Two even. See it? Oh, oh, oh. That's scary. Make sure it's zero. Okay, it's zero. Just make sure you down the wire. Two pounds even. <laughs> Four pounds, eight ounces. That's the one right there. See you later, bub. Four pounds, eight ounces? Yeah. Hey, we ain't got no money in the line. Anytime I can whip up on DC, I like to. <laughs>
Come on, come on. 30, 14 is what I got. I caught a That's what's up. Well, we got a few minutes. Maybe I'll catch you in a big one. I know, you got your name getting up. Well, I said, I just let you know. Give me, right. give me, give me a 10 pounds. Come on. Mark. Mark had a tough one. it beautiful fish here we go pre-spawner actually right there i thought a lot of these fish were done spawning and i come to find out okay i'll show you guys scale zeroed let's go ahead and put this guy on the scale close this thing out four four eight Four eight, okay. Four pounds, eight ounces. That's the one right there. See you later, bub. 
four pounds, eight ounces. Yeah. Hey, we ain't got no money in the line. Anytime I can whip up on DC, I like to. <laughs> That's her dang short. I'd take them naked shorts and put them shorts on. Let me put that sucker. So what up? What we got now? 30 pounds? 4'8". I'll call him up again. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Call him up. Say yo. Four. So, let's just do one, one. Feels good to get done after getting my butt kicked from Otter. Go to a new place. All of us have never been here before. Fished around. Caught some good ones. Um, hey, we done it. Done, done it. Let's go see what the boys have to say. Alright y'all, welcome back. Hey, that was that was a lot of fun, boys. I got DC and Mark on the phone right now on three way. We always uh boys, I appreciate you all uh trying hard, man. It was that was a lot of fun. I mean I you got I gotta admit, that was a good time. Y'all there? D C is I'm checking in with them. Oh man, hey look, that, that was fun. All I gotta say too is you 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 is a lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, I didn't. Hey, hey, that's, <laughs> middle of the day, y'all. Y'all keep in mind. Oh, first of all, let me throw this out there. We appreciate y'all following in on, on Friday evening. I understand y'all could be sitting underneath the palm tree with a nice, cool drink in your hand, but y'all checking us out. Y'all following the, the, the little tournament we had on, and like, understand these are unprecedented times. We're like, we just trying to stay in the game, and we just love competing, and uh, we, we we we're gonna keep trying to do this. And, uh, but no, that, that was a really fun time. And, uh, Jacob, uh, I'm still kind of salty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not salty. I really had a good time. All right, so this is real quick. You guys do me a favor real quick here. Real quick, I have, I have MDJ in, in, in DC's YouTube channel uh, link in my description below. Go down there, click on that link. If you enjoyed this video, go subscribe to their channel because they have a lot of great content. They do a lot of great stuff. They're always trying to do that. Um, we really appreciate you guys hopping on. But we're going to answer some questions because I got I to gotta, I gotta check in with you. Hey, Mark, one question I had. How many bass did you lose in this deal? I don't know, man. I lost, you know what? It got to the point where I was just like, it's just going to be one of them days. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, I and, I and I wasn't even tripping no more, man. But I lost. I think mainly in that last period, maybe three or four, I can't remember. It was too many. I just keep on seeing you set the hook and have them on for a second, and you draw the bow up, and they just come off. And I'm like, come off. And I keep seeing yeah, the comment yeah, section, it constantly is like, hey, what the, what the heck's going on? Man, Mark would be winning, blowing this thing out of the wa water if it wasn't, wasn't yeah, the deal. So, uh, man, Hey, listen, I got my head knocked off, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. I had, a, I had a dang good time. I'm with my boys. We talk some trash, like we always do, right? Oh, we always and, uh, have to. Yeah, and it, was, and it was all love, man. So it's, it was. Uh, it was a good time. I want to do it again. Well, yeah, and I think this is the thing is we'll do it on a little bit bigger body of water. This is the thing. It was a guessing game because we all had not fished this body of water. We're going to try to do this. Um, we got a game plan ultimately of how we're going to to continue this going forward. Um, and so, you know, obviously Otter and I did it one-on-one. -on -one. We've done three of us, me, myself, DC, 
Uh, well, me, Mark, and DC. Sorry about that. Um, and now, so we're going to try to grow it and, and make this uh, make this a deal that we can continue to push. We got a lot of work to do trying to get this thing the technical side of things. But I, I have one more question. I got a couple more questions here that I, I wrote down that I thought were pretty good, and I wanted to answer those. So if you guys are still on here, um, some of the questions maybe that you guys had had. Um, one question that I thought was a solid one: If you only had one rod for bass, what would it be? So MD a DC. I'm gonna let you take this one first, and then MD Gen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer it uh, the last. Yep. One rod for bass. What would it be? I would. I mean, I'm gonna go with the staple. All right, never mind. I'm not gonna go with the staple because a seven foot medium heavy is a staple. Everybody loves it. Everybody's all hooping and hollering about it. But I like a seven two. I like a seven two medium heavy. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Rush. You know, favorite rush rod, or which I love the Sonnet rod, but which favorite? But everybody has their own preference as far as brands wise. But any seven two medium heavy for me, go to. Yep. You know, Marky Mark. Man, I'm, I'm almost gonna have to pair it DC on that one, man. Yeah. I mean, seven to seven three. You pick your brand, whatever you like. Medium heavy, though, I think is what's consistent. There is the action because that's a what I call a utility rod. You can just yeah. about get away with anything except for cranking, probably. What, seven? You can even square bill with a crank, but you can even square bill with a medium heavy if you have to. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah you could. If you had to. Trapping, That's trapping. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I mean, medium heavy is where it's at. I mean, that's we're all we're on the same page. I'm gonna do the spinner outside. I'm gonna go uh, a seven foot medium action. I think that one's. I might even actually go to medium heavy on the spinner rod because my medium heavy is a little bit more on the medium plus side. So it's that's a little bit different. So I would say a seven two. My seven two medium spinning rod is if I only had one spinner rod, that's what I would go with because then you could throw a shake. Yeah, you can still throw open hooks. You can throw nose hooks. You've got to back that drag off a little bit because you don't want to pull it out of them. Um, but that. That definitely was one thing that I, I, I definitely think we all sort of think of the same way. One more thing. We're going to close it out this question. DC, people were asking, Mark, they were asking, how did we three meet? So I'm going to let DC take it on this one. I know a sucker. I, I, want, I want to hear. I, I actually said this on the last one, but I want, how did we meet? All right. So, so this tough there, y'all. It was two. Uh, no, y'all correct me on my years. My we'll, we'll get you. We'll get you. We'll get you on there. Uh, so it was. Oh, man. All right, all right. You, you there? Can we hear you, yeah. DC? I got you now. Can you hear me now? All right, well, here we all go. All right, so it was 2016 in April at Douglas Lake. We were fishing a bass open. Mm-hmm. I roll up in a parking lot. Y'all know what exit it is. Right off, slide over beside the Ruby Tuesday. We slide up in the, I forgot what hotel it was. <laughs> um, so we go up in the parking lot. And I see Mark Daniels over there, and I keep in mind Mark is he living in Alabama, and he's buddies with like Clint Davis. And, but I haven't met Paul, Mark personally. Like, like um, you aren't good buddies with Mark. Marky Mark. Yeah, like I wasn't like real good buddies. I never mm-hmm. shook Mark's hand like back when you could shake hands. Yeah, you know back what when you could. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna shade, boys. I'm gonna throw that shade on that Rona. It's starting to make me mad. I'm driving down the <laughs> right now. People don't even want to look at you. They don't want to even look at you because they're scared. Damn. Anyway, meanwhile, back to the conversation. Um, so I walked over there and I, and I shook uh, Mark's hand. I thought, hey, man, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Dustin. Well, whoop de whoop. I live down here on the coast. Oh, yeah, man, you good friends with Clint Davis. Hey, guess what I asked? I said, hey, yo, Mark. Man, you got a 12-pound weight. Hey, he's, he was, he, hey, <laughs> DC was. Because I, mean, I was broke, man. I had the no money. <laughs> so, uh, so then, so Mark gave us a 12-pound line. And I said, all right. So I started looking around the parking lot. Guess what? J Dub sitting way over there. So I posed yeah. him over there. I said, hey, hey, yo, Wheeler. And I don't even know Jacob. Now, keep in mind, Forrest Wood Cup came here, whoop de whoop. <laughs> I just walked up just like I knew him. I was like, hey, uh, Hey, you got some 10 XD hooks. I know you in this tournament, and I know you already know that bite is 10 XD, so go on, let me slide over here and get me hooks. <laughs> Give me some big old giant hooks. So I sit on over there, and then uh, me and him had like a little fishing conversation. And at that moment, Jacob said, yep. 
DC kind of knows the deal. Hey, I, hey, I'll tell you what. We all finished like top 20. And I, yeah, you're exactly right. We did. We made we made we made the elites after that that that, uh, that turn. But I'll tell you what the funniest thing was, hey, uh, Mark. I'll tell you the funniest thing was is when I about broke I about I would about jumped in the boat with you at Smith Lake that that tournament before. Then I said this on the channel before uh, when you were on that same we were fishing this. He pulled up on me on the same pile, and he swears he didn't. But DC, bro, you definitely say same, same pile in it on the opposite side. <laughs> He said he was sitting there. He was trying to get him a dollar bill. He's trying to make you get him a check. I don't blame. I ain't hating so on check, him. So check this out. So I didn't even know Jacob and the Smith Lake open. You I'm didn't like, know. You didn't. Apparently, somehow I'm telling y'all we do not work together. It's just our styles yeah. of fishing. But we're not allowed to work together now. We wouldn't work together then. I didn't know it. But like our styles of fishing of like moving around is really, really, really simple. And they was dinged up on Spriggs Pilots on Smith Lake. And guess what? Oh, Jacob Wheeler sitting on one of my pilots, and they was watered up on it. And I was like, gosh. And, uh, but anyway, long story short, met them there. Now, now, they're my best friends. And, uh, you know. We have a good time. Super. We have a good time. All right. That's not, hey, Mark, what, what, you got you to add anything else to that, Mark? DC left out in the story when he when he when he when he, when he walked up to me and he was like, "Hey, you hard to get some line." He also asked for a jigging spoon, a rapala, jerk bait, some ten yep. geese, a pack of worms, and a fishing yep. pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. I really did. I, I mean, listen, it wasn't I'm just live. It was not just live. Hey, I'm the only one that shows up to a fishing tournament in these hooks. Hey, well, boy, it was just, you know what? A lot of people can relate to this, D.C., because yeah. I'm kind of like this, too. D.C. is that guy, they biting a bug.